<laughs> all right guys all right good morning good afternoon good evening whatever it is when you watch this video just make it apply i hope everyone is in good positive energy this is the disclaimer for the videos for the monthly zodiac sign readings guys please keep in mind that every last one of the readings are general readings these are not specific personal readings, so it's not going to touch everyone in the collective. So you have to remember the golden rule. If it don't fit, don't force it. So you have to remember when doing divination is that we're giving you messages that spirit should have already gave you um, that spirit should have already gave you spirit should have already gave you that download. And so divination is confirming and clarifying what it is the spirit has already told you. So when you listen to these videos, you should have an aha moment where it's like, man, this resonate. And I was already told this through spirit or somebody on my spiritual team in some type of way, whether you believe in Igun spirit guides, ancestors, Sarabanda, Orishas, you know, whatever it is that you believe in, Loas, you know, they should have already gave you the download. And so as a reader, we're we're just confirming and clarifying what it is that they have already told you. And so with that being said, everything should just go into deeper understanding and deeper alignment of what was already told to you. If you do not feel that way and you're like, you know what, this don't apply, then trust that instinct inside of you and watch something else in your chart. That means you need to watch your rising sign, you need to watch your moon sign, or maybe you just need to sign up for a personal reading. So just keep that in mind whenever you are listening to readings on anybody's channel, regardless of who the reader is, it may not always apply because these are nothing but general readings. All right, guys, sit back, enjoy, relax, and let's see what's going to actually happen in this month for your zodiac sign. And remember, if you want to sign up for a personal reading, all you have to do is go in the description and everything you need will be in there so that you can contact me for a personal reading. All right, guys, I hope you have a really good month and I hope you have a really good reading. All right, here we go, Cancer. <laughs> Let's see what's in the cards for you, man. Let's see what is in the cards for cancer. What is the month going to bring cancer? All right, you got the full call in reverse, and then you have the four of wands. You have the Page of Swords. You have the Four of Pentacles. with the five of wands mixed with the nine of pentacles with the king of pentacles all right let's get through this with the the full card in reverse the full card is all about new beginnings and so it's saying that there's not going to be a new beginning um for the beginning you know um of this year you have it paired with the four of wands and the four of wands is all about your haven, your refuge, your fruit of labor, contentment. And so it's like if you're talking about moving or leaving somewhere, the cards is like, no, there's no need for a new beginning because you are already in your place of refuge. You are already in your place of safety. And so it's saying like right now, Cancer, maybe if you're trying to leave, maybe you're just not, you know, um, maybe you need to figure out why. Like dissect why it is that you want to leave because the cards is just saying that like, no, you need to kind of stay put. You have the page of sword as the crossing energy 
and the page of swords. Can you see it? The page of swords is all about being vigilant. It's all about your perception. And so it's like you need to watch the way that you perceive things. You know, sometimes we can think that people are coming off rude and stuff like that. And it's like, you know, maybe it might not be rude. Maybe it's your perception. And so it's like, watch how you see things, you know, really dissect things and get to the root of it. Because it seemed like you might be seeing trouble when in actuality, there's no trouble. You just need to stay put. You know, you need to change the way that you view it. You know, especially if a lesson is trying to be learned here, you have the um, you have the four of pinnacles as your uh, crowning energy, and the um, the four of pinnacles is all about um, harboring. You know, um, it talks about the love of wealth. It talks about misery. It talks about using. It talks about the inability to share. And so, with the four of pinnacles, you could be motivated to move or something like that because of money. And it's like, yeah, the money might be better or something like that, but where you're at now is where you need to be. You know, where it's like, you know, maybe you might be moving, planning on moving somewhere else just for like a couple of bucks more. But when you really look at it, it's like, okay, well, that's also, you know, 30, 30 more minutes away from your house, you know, is it really even a good trade off? Is it even worth it? And so, you know, it's everything is kind of just like telling you stay put like this is not the time to move. This is not the time to do something different right now. You are in the best place possible. You have for your challenge position, you have the devil card, which the devil card is the encompassing of just like all negative energy. And part of the devil card could be that, you know, in this challenge position is that you're not listening <laughs> where it's like everything is kind of telling you that, hey, maybe you need to stay put. But in your mind, it's already made up. And now because of that, you're turning everything, you know, you're turning everything out. You're toning everything out because you have the five of Batten, which talks about struggle and labor. And it talks about unsatisfied desires. And so you're unsatisfied at this moment. But at the end of the day, you still have the nine of pentacles, which is telling you that you need to have discernment. That's what the nine of pentacles is all about. It's saying that you need to have discernment and you need to be vigilant. And then once you're able to be discernment, you have the king of pentacles, which the king of pentacles, it talks about loyalty. It talks about intelligent and being an expert leader. And that loyalty to me where it's saying you need to stay. So cancer, you need to stay put. Like you're, to me, it seemed like you're trying to fight something and you're trying to find an excuse to get out, but everything internally is telling you like, no, this is not the time you need to stay put, you know, whether you need to stay put to get more mastery of a skill, whether you need to stay put because this is the person you're supposed to be with. You know, I can't tell you specifically why it is that you need to stay put, but you're trying to fight this desire when everything in you is telling you, like, stay put. And you keep trying to fight that. And so it's like, we'll see the outcome, of, you know, when we do February read. But in the meantime, really think about the choices that you're about to make, um, Cancer. Make sure that it's really for your benefit.